Hello everyone and welcome to my Sister Wives Today channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Janelle Brown received criticism for dating Cody. Fans are harshly criticizing Janelle Brown right now despite the fact that the Sister Wives star was generally quite well-liked during season 18 of the TLC program. How come? Has word leaked that she's headed back to Cody Brown's arms? Actually though, that isn't the cause, but it is connected. Continue reading to learn more. When they saw Cody's estranged second wife use foul language, TLC viewers cheered like crazy. She transformed from zero to a hero overnight, much like her friend Christine. Christine, in contrast to wife number two, decided to get a full divorce when she left Cody. In fact, when the mother of Hunter, Gabe, Garrison, Logan, Savannah, and Maddie said she didn't want a divorce, she raised her eyebrows. Fans of Sister Wives observed that Janelle Brown and her children had a truly horrible Christmas. Fans were incensed to learn that Cody had ghosted Savannah without even sending her a text. That must have been a good reason for her to leave him, right? Garrison, her own son, had even advised her to let Robin have him. As a result, as more spoilers surfaced, supporters' confusion over his mother's intentions turned to outright rage. When Christine learned that Cody had asked her out on a date, she stayed by her buddy, according to spoilers for the program. She thought the couple's relationship had progressed to an interesting stage. David Willey's fans vowed to support her no matter if she wanted to go out on a birthday date or stay in and watch TV. No matter how interesting the couple may be, TLC fans don't appear as willing to show them kindness. Viewers of Sister Wives overheard Janelle Brown mention that the pair would need to experience lightning to come to their rescue. But TLC detractors criticized her. According to Reddit, Savannah's ghosting is the apparent reason of the wrath. Fans of Sister Wives are also aware that Cody Brown doesn't appear particularly eager to make amends with the other kids. Therefore, it strikes them as extremely odd that Janelle thought it would be a good idea to go on a birthday date. Would you go on a birthday date with someone who neglected your kids? Who slash un and in questioned? It appears that some individuals have changed their minds regarding the TLC star. I always thought Janelle was a strong-minded woman, but I'm not so sure anymore, one reviewer stated. She seems to be angrier than Mary to get Cody's attention. She admitted to being 50 years old, broke from supporting Cody, and still she is going on a date with him. Really sad. In the opinion of another local resident, Janelle makes a great deal about picking her children, but in reality, she picks herself. She could have finished this garbage years ago, but she chose to wait until all but one of her children had left the house. She is only out at this point because Cody's behavior is now having an impact on her, and she is unable to ignore it and move on with her laid-back, don't-rock-the-boat mentality. Savannah would not have left if Cody had only done the barest minimum of calling her and not acting weirdly during the apologies in chat. Christine Brown proves she supports the gay community strongly. Christine Brown, star of Sister Wives, is a huge advocate for the homosexual community. When her daughter Gwendolyn Brown came out as bisexual, she was quite outspoken about it. In fact, she asserted that she was familiar with it. The mother of six is now depicted in a fresh photo demonstrating her deep compassion for all people. To learn more, keep reading. It is no secret that Christine Brown has always encouraged her kids to pursue their goals. Making ensuring Lysabel Brown received insurance for her scoliosis surgery, she was right there for her daughter. During the epidemic, Christine disobeyed her husband Cody Brown and drove her from Flagstaff to New Jersey. He wanted Lysabel to delay the procedure, but he was unaware of how much discomfort she was experiencing. Christine disregarded his requests as a result and brought her girls to the East Coast for the treatment. She is like that. Furthermore, she was present the entire time Gwendolyn was engaged in organizing her wedding, and she was totally tolerant of her daughters coming out as bisexual. In the present, Christine's continuous support for the gay community is evident in a Reddit thread. A supporter was looking for more pictures from the wedding of Christine and David Woolley, which happened on Saturday, October 7. Instead, they discovered Christine Brown officiating a marriage between two males of the same sex. The OP added, Also, I think it's kind of cool that it was a gay wedding. Further signaling her support for the gay community, she's not just accepting her kids but rather celebrates the larger community. More Redditors joined in the conversation. 
Wow, becoming a wedding celebrant would be the ideal job for Christine. She'd be fantastic at it, someone said. Another person commented, Christine is truly an angel. I cherish her. Many others said that she resembled her youngest child, truly there, while one said they thought these men were at her wedding. David Woolley and Christine Brown were wed in front of more than 300 guests. As fans had been anticipating this, it was a big deal. They are ecstatic that she is no longer with her ex-husband, Cody Brown. She has a new beginning and has boldly announced that she is divorced. Janelle Brown is still considering her options for Cody in the current season of Sister Wives. Although she has stated that she wants to be permanently apart from him, she still insists she misses him. In Sister Wives, Christine Brown explicates the blessings of her wedding day. Star of Sister Wives Christine Brown explains the benefits she received on her wedding day. On Saturday, October 7, she and her fiancé David Woolley got married. For the bride and groom, this was a lovely and significant occasion, but what particularly struck out for Christine? To learn more, keep reading. Christine Brown and David Woolley exchanged vows in front of almost 300 guests. Christine had long desired it, especially following the dissolution of her marriage to Cody Brown. She questioned her ability to fall in love at the age of over 50. The Sister Wives star understood she would have to restart her life after leaving the plural marriage. Of course, Cody tried to convince her to stay by claiming that a man from Utah would only mistreat and abuse her. But it appears that in David, she found her prince charming and that David found his queen. Christine and David said, I do in the presence of close friends and a lot of affection, and they are overjoyed. The mother of six posted on Instagram to express her joy and thank God for everything she had that day. I'm so blessed, she wrote. My best buddy and I were married, and we're thrilled and grateful to have been surrounded by so much love. With our family and friends, it was an amazing experience. Finally, we were married in the ceremony of our dreams. She also posted unique images of David and her on their wedding day, both of whom looked stunning. The couple's supporters and fans instantly joined in with their congratulations. Wonderful illustration of why giving in is never an option. It's time to go if love isn't being served at the table anymore, someone wrote. One more said, wow, congratulations. We are all so pleased for you, and I believe I can speak for the internet as a whole when I say that. It seems that Christine Brown compromised when she was married to Cody. She told about how, after a certain point, he stopped being present for her and her kids. Furthermore, it was well known that the patriarch of the sister wives has a favorite wife. The very last and final straw was when he pulled intimacy from their marriage. Christine used the hashtag hashtag honored loyal true in a post about David and their wedding. That very much captures what she wanted and more. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.